<clears throat> Excuse me, I had to mute Twitter. You see, uh, Daddy James Woods is back, so it's a little hot tonight. <laughs> But yeah, it's uh, the Bonester back at it again. Another <laughs> movie reaction. This time, but we're going to take it back about 24 years to 1995 with a movie called Virtual Combat. But yeah, I watched a few minutes of it months ago and I said, you know what? This is too good for live tweeting. I'm saving this for a full-blown reaction because it is pure <laughs> weapons grade 90s cheese it's beautiful what's wrong with cyber sex it's guilt-free disease-free sex with the perfect woman it's a computer program john you're having sex with a machine ah but a beautiful machine and we need something to do in between batwoman hiatuses time to recalibrate our gaydar batwoman is a lesbian it's good to stretch my reactor legs and really get shit going. Let's not waste any more time. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm excited because the 90s, this is my era and my area. <laughs> I know I'm going to have so much fun with this. Let's start. A Pix Entertainment. <laughs> Uh, it seems like every movie from that era had to rip off the Terminator font. And notice how the title doesn't match any of the other fonts because they changed the name from Grid Runners to Virtual Combat. Don't ask me why. Don't ask me why they couldn't find the same font because I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a, a fancy movie person. Oh, uh, I see they used some leftover set from Batman Forever. All right, everyone, chill. The virtual voice of Dante. Oh my god, we have a character named Dante. This is, that's how you know this is some 90s shit. Ain't nobody named Dante anymore. Well, that's not true. <laughs> is his hair filled with fucking leather belts? <laughs> it's fucking insane. Sweaty nipples. Sweaty nipples. <laughs> Could fry chicken grease on those titties. Okay, he wasn't standing there. Hold on. Let's rewind that. He was standing in a completely different spot. Okay, there he's there, and now he's there. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's totally the inside of my vagina. Put your left foot in. <laughs> I can't believe they put the black dude. They put a fucking Jemima wig on a black dude. What kind of kick was that? I mean, I don't want to hurt you. It's like they're wafting each other's farts in their own faces. No, you smell it. No, you smell it. No, you smell it. No, you smell it. They're trying to cover up the brother's gut, but come on, dude. Like, it's so obvious. The only thing he's been fighting is empanadas. <laughs> bitch. <laughs> Next time, lose 20 pounds before you come into my dojo, bitch. Let me guess. People oh my God. <laughs> what the f- Come on! <laughs> This buffoonery is incredible. Those flips were so unnecessary. But the reason why is because they really, they get a lot of friction and heat and steam going on in those leotards. So they're kind of like just wafting it out and airing out their crotches. So it's, it's though, so those flips aren't entirely useless. Uh. <laughs> dancing, dancing, dancing. All right, come on. How can you <laughs> It's the year of the cat. <laughs> He's like a cast member of Cats without the fucking CGI. And somehow this is more terrifying. <laughs> what is that? What is that creature? <laughs> Where are they? Like, there's nowhere to hide. Where are y'all hiding? <laughs> Ew. He looked <laughs> yeah, he looked. <laughs> Yeah, he left behind all that fucking sweat that was underneath his balls. And why does everyone look like half-naked Mortal Kombat fighters? It seems like they all come from that ninja clan that uh, 
Zub-Zero and Scorpion come from, and they're all half naked for some reason, like half their fucking outfits were in the cleaners or some shit. What? <laughs> just a generic red filter. That's what I used to do as a video editor. Just slapping red filters on shit to make it look cool. So we meet again, little man. Are you prepared to lose? <laughs> This really is a Mortal Kombat movie. What the fuck? This nigga got post-it notes on his jacket. I am Lethal Kombat. Come, give me your rage. He's only kicking so hard as to not hurt you because this is a movie. I don't play by your rules. I can read your every thought. Then why not dodge his kicks, asshole? I smack the air next to your neck! <laughs> he got blindsided by the light. <laughs> Warning. Warning. Engage. What the fuck is up with that helmet? I'm telling you, you gotta try cyber sex. You always win, even if you're not an expert. No thanks. What's wrong with cyber sex? It's guilt-free, disease-free sex with the perfect woman. And represses you for regular sex. You're having sex with a machine. Ah, but a beautiful machine. One with big microchips. Like, t when I think microchips, I think small. So, like, if he's referencing, like, tits, then that just... That don't make no sense, dude. <laughs> Stay at the luxurious Riviera Hotel. The finest in gaming and entertainment. Yeah, remember when those people used to be in movies, like those like really fat American Hawaiian shirt Caucasians in movies, like it was like a real representation of middle America. They don't do that shit anymore. If you really notice, like you look around movies, they don't really do that. I miss that. Bring that back. Press any key to continue. I'm Greta and I'll give you some discipline. <sighs> OnlyFans is not as innovative as people think. Please press any key to continue. What the fuck? She want niggas that'll bite her nipples off afterwards. What the fuck? Oh, okay. See, now Andrew can. Okay, okay, but why do the men of color? Why are they all savage and shit? <laughs> oh my this this low key racism. <laughs> 5,000 credits, 7,500 including tax. Damn, they live in Cook County? Doors to your right. Enjoy. Enjoy. Uh -huh. Hey Debbie, stop me at level five. Huh, <laughs> I don't think so. Yeah, you might make sure you're unmolested when you get out of there. <laughs> that motherfucker. Oh, titty. It's Hunky Prince. <laughs> Honestly, who plants a bomb in a fucking wife beater? See, it, only the 90s. Only the fucking 90s. Hold it. I'll save it. Oh my god, you have guns. What the fuck? <laughs> this is what happens when you hire CK models. <laughs> Some fucking guard you're building. <laughs> Feel my titty against your ear. <laughs> Officer down. Captain Smith and Andrew, call paramedics. Mobilize grid running unit. Right away, sir. <laughs> the most conspicuous ass niggas. <laughs> Fucking leather vests and shit. They're looking for uh, looking for assailants wearing leather vests, uh, tank tops, <laughs> baggy ass uh, hammer pants. Like, oh, they're right there, <laughs> across the street. How did they not see- his car was right there. How did they not see him? And they got laser guns? Why not just laser them? Because I will defeat him with my pew pew beams. Hey, tell command we need a wagon out here. And uh, make sure they know there isn't a uniform for Miles. Yes, David. Yes, David. Uh. Lawrence Cameron for Mr. Barrows. I know who you are, Dr. Cameron. You know the routine. Uh, what the fuck? Are they on the Orient Express? The fuck? No weapon. <laughs> He's out here playing the fucking organ! 
I can feel the notes and the vibrations from the music flowing through my cock. Ah! Uh, more tits. <laughs> okay. That's twice in 15 minutes. Oh God. The 90s are in full swing. Waiting to meet you. Waiting to please you. And I'll do anything that you want. So play me. Well, what do you think of her? This is so much better than playing the organ. What if she wasn't just a program? What if I could make her real? Yeah, he's the very first sim to revolutionize fully flesh ethot cyborgs. It's, it, it's incredible. Behold. Who sized her up for that Victoria's Secret shit? I <laughs> know it wasn't y'all. The ethos of my dreams. She's actually real, and she didn't block me after asking for feet pics. In the clash. There's one problem, sir. Even though she's been, even though she's been programmed to serve whoever plays her, she's also been programmed to learn. Why? That's why I've invented this. Any constant pressure over 500 psi will cause deterioration. That joke will cause pain. Hey, wait a minute. She has the ability to learn, so she has the ability to know that you're, you know, hurting her. And uh, so she'll eventually learn how to chop your dick off when you're asleep. <laughs> Not a great design plan. <laughs> Who's the second most popular cyber sex program? Greta, the dominator. <laughs> Make one for me. The dominatrix. The one specifically designed to cause pain. Yeah. Like, you idiots. <laughs> Wait, how did it make a fucking whip and a dominatrix outfit? Come on, dude. Hey, where the fuck did you come from? Tank activated. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Can't just slip that one on us. I have snot in my snot. <laughs> you grease me. What do you want? I have friends trapped in your mainframe prison. Get them out. Now. Like, how is he omitting noises if he's not using his mouth? The tank is completely shut down. Start it. I can't. The only way to reactivate the tank is through the mainframe of the Los Angeles grid. I will squat a pellet in your mouth! <laughs> I want to get past level 10. Dante, it's a computer program. You can't beat a computer at a computer game. It's impossible. Says who? I think uh, the millions and millions of people across the country spanning since computer games were invented will disagree with you on that <laughs> to change your whole lifestyle for a computer game and you think i'm weird for wasting my credits on cyber sex oh halt right there sorry we don't allow thoughts this close to the dam i can arrange for an officer for an escort no that won't be necessary no sir really it's no problem at all i'll be right back right huh? Ah. Ah. Greta Thunberg grew up to be a real bitch. Liana. Oh. Liana. Liana, where are you? How, can, how does he know this bitch? Everyone loses to Dante. Oh my god, Dante just loves hearing himself say the name Dante. Hey, let's go check out that code red. Forget it, John. We're off the clock. Yeah, you're right. What's left is the paperwork. Come on. We've got an early day tomorrow, and Kathy's probably waiting up for you. Oh, yeah, the partner's a goner. He's gonna die. He's drunk. He's got a wife that he talked about her. Oh, he's a goner. He's dead. His moose is about to get loose. <laughs> what are you doing here, Grid Runner? Grid Runner? The original name of the movie. A few minutes later. And the black guy dies first. The 90s! Oh, uh, well, technically, technically he didn't die first. That's a warning! Stop where you are! Damn it, freeze! 
You'd think after like the third or fourth zap he would have ran. Oh yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure. Yeah, he's probably totally not. He's totally knocked out. There's no way he's gonna get back up and kick your ass. Like I said, this dude made himself so greasy that no man can thoroughly punch him. It's it's ingenious. Mayday. Mayday, officer needs assistance. Oh God, get up off your ass and help me. Everyone loses to Dante. Oh my God. Okay, Dante. <laughs> I'm, I'm tea packing him. <laughs> he was my partner. He was only two days from retirement. Sir, I don't trust the LAPD. As long as you're in this department, bro, you follow orders and procedure. You'll have my resignation in the morning. You'll have my mustache up your ass. Does Kathy know? No. How does she not know her husband's dead already? It's morning. <laughs> this should know, should, bitch should know something. Oh, right, so we can have this moment. I'm sorry. Just go away. Go away. Just leave me with my large baby. You leave now. And none of this has to happen, okay? Just walk out that door and take that bag with you and John will come home and everything will be just fine. Bitch, you're, how are you delusional? He just died. How are we at the insane grief stage already? And he forgets to call and um, dinner gets cold. Dinner gets cold. His partner married a, a mentally challenged woman. That's very progressive of him. No, I wasn't there. I wish I had been. Oh my god, those are the same fucking baby noises that baby that baby Yoda makes. <laughs> I'm serious. Like line that shit up. David. Get the bastards. Get the bastards. And get me a belt, please. Grid runner. Grid runner. Yeah, I think sh they should have kept uh grid runner. <laughs> Cause we've seen very little virtual combat and more grid running. These personnel only. Oh my god, does everyone know how to do, do karate? Three questions and I'll let you. Did you find any abandoned vehicles? No. Did you check the bullet train to LA? Yeah. Nothing. And why the fuck do you know karate? Who programmed the Lethal Combat game? Information unavailable. Who pulled the file? Dr. Lawrence Cameron. Check his recent credit purchases. Purchased to get on bullet train last night, 1103. He also bought an industrial strength bottle of Aquanet. Welcome to the Los Angeles. <laughs> My god. Actually, he'll fit right in in Los Angeles. A chest naked nigga with a leather jacket on. But you know what? No, they'll just think he's on bath salts or something. This standard LA shit. Either you're tweaked up on fucking bath salts or just homeless. Fuck it. I'm sure you'll feel at home. Okay, I'm pretty sure that lawyer dude is Michael Imperioli. Father was killed at the border. You should have stopped him. That's right, sir, but he's gone renegade. He turned in his badge. Sir, uh, what is this evil plan again? To just badge. bang cyber sluts? Is that <laughs> that's, that's it. He's just a professional cyber slut fucker. That's all he does. Because I have no idea. Like, yeah, of course, he murdered some people. And he's kind of responsible for that fucking, for that male stripper uh, escaping. But like, what, what is evil shit has he actually done? Welcome to the Los Angeles Grid, a violence-free community. We hope you enjoy your stay. One of the statements I just said is a complete and utter lie. Excuse me. Twelve seconds later. <laughs> So that was a fucking lie. Like honestly, we, <laughs> we need a fight scene. We can't even have the movie be too introverted and uh, you know, well paced. Should have stayed in Vegas, Quarry. Do I know you? Michael Imperioli, lawyer. <laughs> the lawyer knows karate. Oh! 
Y'all need to stop. Stop! <laughs> what guy in a suit in movies like this goes out of their way to get their hands dirty? They don't. But they're so but they're so desperate for karate. And they're wait, 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 wait a minute. Uh, I can see the boom mic. That's I think that's the boom mic. I can see the boom mic in the shot. Why even have cops? Everyone's kicking everyone's ass anyway. This is the libertarian's dream. Everyone knows karate and no one needs cops. Ah. Where are you? Greta. Dante. Why have you given up environmental work for e thought and Greta? You must escape and come to me. I'm not programmed for strategy. <laughs> Can't you tell by my really vapid voice? It's gonna be light soon. I gotta find a place to hide out. What hotel are you staying in? What hotel are you staying at? Clearly, he's working with the bad guys if he's asking where his hotel is. That's how it always works in these movies. Mary. Give me an address for Bird Tech Industries. Yeah. It's a bad audio cut right there. But yeah, he just walks in and just takes aid and shelter away from other homeless people. Like, come on, bro. Hey, give me a bio on Dr. Cameron. Tracky. Dr. Lawrence Cameron, born Vienna, Austria. Specialist in cyberplasmic theory. Studied cloning technology at Stanford. Wait. Cloning technology at Stanford. And now at prestigious colleges, they just teach you uh, how to be an angry feminist, and that's about it. Give these girls some fucking clothes, for Christ's sake. It's not even allure. It's not even alluring. So you can't say it's for sex appeal. <laughs> that's how whips work. Like they just they can actually move in a straight line. Bring me the keys. Do it. I what? But what would have happened if he actually enjoyed that shit? They've escaped, sir. My e thoughts won't get far. I put Cheeto dust in their collars. It'll be very crunchy and uncomfortable for them. <laughs> Uh, I don't even know how to respond. Is that her already at this goddamn shelter, palling it up with children? No, oh, I'm not going with Dante. Oh, now I'm at a, sh a shelter. G giving glances to Lou Diamond Phillips next to crackheads. What the fuck? How is this child? This is a shelter. Keep in mind. How is? How are these these? miscreants in the same space as this child and vulnerable women Ooh. she said no white knight power engage ah what a strong man you are why don't you help me off with my clothes uh oh no we're going there we're doing that oh no shit she's a she's a consummate nymph i knew it i knew we were gonna get this <laughs> Fucking 90s movies. Come on, boy. Why don't you help me off with my clothes? I've always wanted to fuck Lou Diamond Phillips. What's wrong? You don't like me? Is there something wrong with me? I thought I was appealing. It's not bad. Your hair isn't as luxurious as mine. What am I doing wrong, Quarry? I try to do everything that men want. You should do whatever you want. I don't know what I want. <laughs> He's such a good guy! Don't cry. This is literally the plot of Birds of Prey. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now I'll fuck you. <laughs> What they didn't know was, is one of the smack heads was watching them the whole time. Stone Cold Steve. Go, go. Fuck. What's another fucking city in Texas? <laughs> she 
course, it's one of the bad guys right into some kid's bunk. Now, my leg is broken. <laughs> and out of nowhere, a lawyer. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, sh yeah, another one of those fancy lasers that goes straight between two people without even hitting them. Yeah, just a fucking lawyer shooting a laser gun outside a fucking homeless shelter. The oh, fuck? Yes, Mr. Ponis. I'm sorry, sir. I've lost him. <laughs> I've lost him. Yeah, all like a fucking million dollar laser gun, and I lost him. I just missed him. What's wrong? Then who killed my partner? The killer from Lethal Combat. Lethal Combat? What level? Who is it? I think you should have known what level it was, dude. Yeah, I mean, it's the only level you've been griping about throughout this entire movie. Let's find another place to have really awkward sex. No, I'm not programmed to. Do. You're not a computer program anymore. Understand? Yes. Ever since I stuffed my dick in you, your worth as a human being has gone up. What the fuck? What's the matter? She's calling me. Can't you hear her? Someone's with her. I can feel him. I can feel him through my nipples. Oh, no, okay, now they're fighting in the alleyway from Highlander. Okay. You were mine. We were created for each other like light and darkness. Rub your nipples against mine and let's go! Well, that was quick. That that was really quick. <laughs> oh, this new iteration of Catwoman is terrible. damage something like your uterus, um, the female programs, they just, uh, wither away and die. Compress the A-lifer's molecular structure, causing a breakdown of electrical impulses at 500 PSI against solid matter. Did you, did you just fucking forget that your girlfriend was kidnapped? Another fight scene, because why not, you know. We've only gone like 30 seconds without one. I was feeling really really naked. Liana. Liana! Got him, Mr. Burroughs. We should be to you in approximately 20 minutes. Mr. Burroughs is very upset with you. Okay, so she's been kidnapped from Lou Diamond Phillips. Now she's been kidnapped from... It was an alien. From male stripper Colin Farrell. Okay! What about the other one? No reading on her at all. This will keep you on your best behavior. You don't own me. You don't own me. You forgot me, program. I can tweak my own nipples. You don't own me. Hey, what happened to her? He's working with the bad guys, isn't he? Just tell me now. I think we should turn it over to the feds. There isn't enough time. Those are my orders, Kwai. Drop it and turn it over to the feds. I don't take orders from you anymore. You can kiss my mustache, bitch. Ah! Oh, I knew it. <laughs> Your old ass. Did his old ass really try to like slow stab this karate master? I just killed an elderly man. Score one for me. Well, that was quick. We didn't even find out what capacity he was working for the bad guys. I mean, he just went right back to his room. Same apartment building to fucking train. Not apartment building. Wait, he went back to the same hotel room to train. The same hotel room where he kicked the old black man out the window. Have you considered the fact that his death might lead more bad guys to you, idiots? <laughs> what? 
think people need to be more suspicious of niggas and wife beaters. I mean, damn. I don't get paid enough for this, boss. And you retrieve Greta from Japantown. It's little Tokyo. Just call it Little Tokyo. Stop calling it Japantown. It sounds so stupid. Understood. It sounds like a bunch of Midwestern tourists. Let's go to Japantown. I heard they got su they got the nice sushi. The perfect occasion. But honestly, what has this guy done other than kill those others, those other guards? Yeah. Because technically, it wasn't his fault that Dante got free. Dante got free by accident because Dante is Dante. Dante is Bay. <laughs> That's why he's out. Well, you're a lucky man, Mr. Quarry. I was dumb enough not to load my gun. Hail Mary. Full of grace. Open up, FBI. We have you surrounded. Oh, bitch. I bet the director thought that little bit of writing was so awesome. Little Mary full of grace. Get the fuck out of here. 11 minutes later. Back off before she's dead. Let her go and I'll let you live. Come back to Vegas, cop. You're out of your league. I'll do it. Go ahead. I'll pull down my pants and show my punch. Anyway. I'll stick this knife up my ass. Far enough. Where'd you stop? You were doing well. That's far enough. Uh, yeah. I guess I'll just stop because you told me to. No. No. I thought you were, you know, I had something special. You shared those feet fixed with me. Oh. Crunch and lunch. What the fuck? Oh, oh, oh. Damn. Dead. Oh wow. Oh my god, the laser doesn't even line up with the gun. <laughs> yeah, <shit. laughs> oh my god, he's still coming! <laughs> oh, come on. The helicopter just disappeared. That's how that's how powerful that explosion was. It was Star Wars blowing up the Death Star powerful, where the, the fucking helicopter just disappeared. Oh, I almost forgot about this greasy nigga. Dante will not be a secondary character in this film. Computer control room's just around the corner. You don't want me to hurt her, do you? Let her go. Leave, little man. <laughs> Leave and I'll let her live. It's not gonna happen. You should have listened. <laughs> Who's a good dog? Who's a good Did he just kill that bitch? Your tits, they're so cold. So cold. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't give a single shit about this chick. Oh god, oh. No that they're sex bots, like that's not a good substance for them to leave behind. You're too late, little man. It has already begun. <laughs> Yeah, this actor, he's, they knew he was god-awful, and speaking was like, like, him, his facial expressions plus the way he speaks was just like, totally ridiculous. So they were like, you know, let's just cut out half the terribleness and just put, and just put some voice over his facial expressions and let's just do that. Is this what you want? The power? The power. I power? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I have no idea what's happening. I have no idea why Dante's here, what the power is, why the bad guy was creating fucking cyber thoughts. Well, I knew, well, we all knew why, but he never used them for that purpose, so. 
Yeah, just nothing makes sense. Absolutely fucking nothing. And I love it. I'm prowling like a jungle cat. Uh-uh, yeah. I can feel my nipples rubbing up against the leather. <laughs> I was created in your image, but I do not play by your rules. Yeah, stop monologuing and just please get it over with. Oh, I thought it was a pipe. <laughs> I thought it was like, yeah, look, a pipe. But it was really a fucking katana. Wow, okay. Oh, how come, all right, now how you, how come you got the Arabian night shit? <laughs> that is, this is not a fair fight. In yeah, the prop department, they're supposed to have two katanas. But uh, they're like, no, fuck it. Like, it went up, it came up missing. So we gotta borrow something from one of those Bollywood movies. You can't kill me. I learned my best moves from you. And you're so predictable. I learned my best moves from you. Did, did, what? Just because you can, well, he said he could read his mind, but like, can he still do that even outside the game? You're not reading, you're not under the will of a fucking computer anymore. So how are you, how can you, how can you predict his moves? That doesn't make any sense. I don't even know why I'm, I even bother. <laughs> why am I bothering? Just turn off your brain and laugh at this shit, Lauren. Do it. <laughs> I'm gonna need so much cocoa butter after this fight. <laughs> yeah, that's how that's the two siblings fight right there. <laughs> that's the finishing move. Like, oh I you seriously hate you! Game over. Tank activated. Maybe I deserve for you to walk out that big tub of goo. Maybe I deserve. Yeah, nice uh, Cyclops from X-Men cosplay. Oh my god, they're wearing the same fucking outfits as Edward and Bella from... <laughs> we can li be together and live the lifestyle Ben Shapiro would have wanted. <laughs> okay, that's the movie. Don the Dragon Wilson. Oh god. <laughs> Yeah, that's definitely a name he gave himself. Oh, world kickboxing champion? Really? That's in the credits too? Oh my god, someone loves himself. I swear. Yeah, fantastic stuff, that is. So, I'm still working on that Dracula review. I'm pretty close to the script writing process. As soon as I get that done, it's all good. It's all gravy from there. I should have it out maybe, probably, hopefully, around the time Batwoman comes out. So yeah, look for that shit. I, and I think in between that time, I'll be coming out with more movie reactions because I got somebody helping me out with editing these videos. And that, I mean, as I've, as you're watching this video, I think it will have been very helpful to my working process. I don't know. This is like the first one that I've made him edit for me. But thank you guys for watching and suffering through my era of film. As much as I love it, it's so bad. It's so wonderfully bad. Bye guys and I'll see you later.